Welcome back to Artemis Fowl. This is an epilogue. So this is a follow-up to the story that we just finished. And you can see that the font is different. This is Foley's journal once again, like the prologue. Now that you have reviewed the case file, you must realize what a dangerous creature this fowl is. There is a tendency to romanticize Artemis, to attribute to him qualities that he does not possess. The fact that he used his wish to heal his mother is not a sign of affection. He did it simply because the social services were already investigating his case, and it was only a matter of time before he was put into care. He kept the existence of the people quiet only so that he could continue to exploit them over the years, which he did on several occasions. His one mistake was leaving Captain Short alive. Holly became the LEP's foremost expert in the Artemis Fowl cases and was invaluable in the fight against the people's most feared enemy. This fight was to continue across several decades. Ironically, the greatest triumph for both protagonists was a time they were forced to cooperate during the Goblin Insurgents. But that's another story. Report compiled by Dr. J. Argon, B. Syke, for the LEP Academy Files. Details are 94% accurate, 6% unavoidable extrapolation. The end. Okay, Artemis Fell is a series. The Arctic Incident is the second book. Um, I think there's around seven books, so if you like this story, you might want to continue reading the Artemis Fowl series. Also, Disney Plus has come out with the movie, so that's out there also. I hope you enjoyed it.